So in reality, we're trying to solve two problems at once. We're trying to make America energy independent, which means getting off foreign oil. And then we're also trying to solve this climate change problem, the carbon dioxide problem. We can, in fact, look at every country in the world and we can measure their CO2 contribution to our atmosphere since 1750. And this is what it looks like. America produced the most. What is really happening? So the way we make energy today is we're putting about 8 billion tons of carbon, or about 35 billion tons of carbon dioxide, into the atmosphere every year by burning the fossil fuels that are buried in coal pits or in oil wells, etc. The atmosphere keeps roughly half of the CO2 that goes up into it in the atmosphere, and the oceans absorb a pretty large sum, like 2 billion tons of that carbon. So this is out of balance. We're putting more up there than we're taking down. And that's why we actually can look at curves like these, the historical concentration of CO2 for the last 1,000 years. It's completely obvious when we started burning all those fossil fuels that we've been ramping up that CO2. This is made most famous by the Keeling curve. I think Al Gore really drove this one home in his movie. What you're seeing here is the last sort of 50 year history of direct measurements of CO2 in the atmosphere atop Mauna Loa in Hawaii. And you can see that we've gone up and up every year, breathing in and out with the seasonal cycles of the North American and sort of Northern Hemisphere summers and winters. And now we're up at about 380 ppm. That's the thing we call climate change. Every red dot you see on this graph, and this is from a British publication, is a five or six degree Fahrenheit increase in temperature on the ground in the last 25 years. So global warming isn't really a distant future thing. It's something we're already observing today. In fact, we've been observing it for decades already. This really drives home how quickly we're heating up the planet. And that, that sort of means we have to act very quickly. If we look at this curve, this is, talks to you about the long time periods involved in this game. And those long time periods can be a little confusing. It may think you can wait into the future before you act, but it really means you need to act now. The carbon we put in the atmosphere today is the carbon that will be heating us up 50 and 100 years in the future. So if we're thinking about our children, our grandchildren, and how to give them the, the climate we want, we've got to act really quickly. Otherwise, we're locking them into heating that they really don't want to see. Thank you.